Hey parents, it's Mr. Chizik. I've got some great news for you. We've all survived phase three week one. I just wanna thank all of the families who have taken the time to really adjust to our new normal. The reality here is that no one anticipated the position that we've all been thrust into at this point. And I just wanna take the time to thank everyone, staff, students, and families for really stepping up to the occasion. I wanna thank families and parents ultimately for taking the time to adjust and to providing some feedback to, to me and to classroom teachers about our first week of distance learning. Remember, this is not something that we all signed up for, just like you at home providing 24 seven support for uh, our little Kurtz Cougars. Uh, we had not ever experienced a time where we're trying to get everything across to kids via Google Meets or Google Docs or um, PDFs or websites. Uh, this has been a challenge for everyone, staff, parents, and students. There is no doubt about it. I wanna thank you for being patient as we are transitioning to this distance learning model. Um, it is not ideal by any means. This is not business as usual for staff or students or for you for that matter. And we understand that. I really want you to just take a breath, a deep breath and, and really think about where you're at and what's going on. The staff here is really in place to make sure that we're communicating those essential learning targets that are going to be utilized in order to get your student ready for the next school year as ready as possible. It is not expected of you for, to sit down and plan out eight hours of instruction every day. Our goal is to keep it simple. Our goal is to keep our kids as active as possible and engaged with the content as much as they can be. If you've been keeping up with morning announcements and you have been keeping up with um, stories being read aloud, that is wonderful. Um, we're trying to keep kids connected. We want kids to hear our voices. We want kids to be uh, Kurtz Cougars throughout this closure process. Take the time to enjoy this. Take the time to um, put it at your own pace and to make it work for your family. I don't want families focused in on getting everything done every day. If things are stretched out and it makes more sense to your family, that's great. If it's time to go outside and spend some time outside, that's great. This is not about sitting in front of a screen for eight hours a day. Our goal is three and a half hours or less of actual contact screen, screen time. And outside of that time is time for students to be doing things of interest and again, keeping their skills sharp. I encourage you, please make sure that kids are reading, that kids are engaged in learning, but that are also, uh, th that they have time to have fun. Mr. Brueger and Mr. Renlin and Mr. Um, Mahler and Mrs. Kasar and Mrs. Tyler have all put lessons together to keep kids motivated and on track with their learning as well. Don't feel like they need to be engaged every single day. Space them out. Remember, specials only happen once a week in when school was, was in session. So we don't expect you to be doing everything that comes your way. Make it work for you. Make it make sense. I strongly recommend that you are doing and practicing routines that make sense for your family. Kids thrive on routines, folks. We wanna make sure that you have things in place. It's gonna be a long haul moving forward to fall 2020. So take the time, set up those routines. If you need help, reach out to reach out to your classroom teacher, reach out to me. I would be happy to help you work on some routines. Um, but ultimately just keep those things going throughout this closure time. Several parents have asked me questions about spring pictures. I have spring pictures. I had them mailed to my house, so they are here. Um, I am planning at least at the, on the short term of um, when we get our yearbooks in, which yearbooks are still slated to happen, um, you'll be able to get your spring pictures and your yearbooks, but don't worry, they're here. Um, yearbooks will be completed by Mrs. Bottomley and, and will be shipped out to the company. I sent out an email about that recently, but um, that should be, uh, that, that's kind of the plan. I have 
literally not touch the building except for uh, I took the liberty of making sure that all lunch boxes were emptied so that we don't have any science projects growing in the classroom hallways uh, throughout the time of this closure. But everything is here, folks. There is nothing that has changed. It's almost eerie when you walk into the classroom. It looks like the kids were literally just left yesterday. So as soon as we hear something from the state about giving you access to the building, whatever that looks like, we're going to be there. I wanted to also make sure that you know I, I have the um, student profile forms are now active. I sent them out on Skyward uh, this morning, and they will go out. Uh, I'll, I'll put them on the uh, district or the building website as well. So you'll be able to fill out a, a student profile form. Remember, the student profile forms are what we use in our placement meetings in order to make sure that um, we're placing our students the best ways that we possibly can. Um, I know we've talked about this in the past and I've put articles and newsletters and uh, shared with you um, information about the process of, of placement, but we take placement very seriously and next year will be no exception. Our goal is always to create balanced classrooms so that students are in the best environments possible and are set up for success in every way, shape, and form that we can. You're a part of this team, so please share with us. Are there students that maybe don't get, do so well uh, together? Are there teachers maybe you have a relationship with? Um, those are important factors that we wanna know, but ultimately student profiles are really just to make sure that we have all the information that we can possibly have about your young learners for the uh, to set up these new classes for next year. There's a million other things that we could be talking about. I am super excited that we have made it to the end of this week. Again, thank you all for your support. Thank you all for your patience as we grow and, and learn together. And I look forward to eventually shaking hands with you and seeing you and having these kids, our kids, back in the building where they belong, learning in the hallways where they belong, learning in the classrooms where they belong. I can't wait to see them. Please let them know how much that the Kurt staff misses them. And I will be in touch soon. Take care, everyone.